Hello there, kiddos. Ms. Boyd. <clears throat> We're talking today about section 6.3, elimination using addition and subtraction. Oh, I don't know. Apparently, that's just going to stay there. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. All right. Um, so let's forget for a minute about these words. And we're gonna work through this first example together and see if it helps you understand. Again, system of equations is any two or more equations that describe the same scenario. So we've got this system, 4x plus 6y equals 32 and 3x minus 6y equals three. You can see I've lined them up where all the x terms are in a, in a column, all the y terms are in a column, and all the constants are in a column. It doesn't matter what order they're in. It doesn't matter um, if y is first and then x, or if the x is alone, it that doesn't matter, as long as everything is lined up of one above the other. So what I'm looking for is one variable with the same number in front and opposite signs. So we've got six y on the top, and negative 6y on the bottom. That's all I care about. I need to make sure one variable has the same number in front with opposite signs. We already have that, so I'm going to add each column with the one below it. So 4x plus 3x is 7x. 6y minus 6y is eliminated, and that's gone. The equals is going to stay where it's at. And 32 plus 3 is 35. So now we have one equation and one unknown. I need to get x alone so I can divide by 7 on each side. I get x equals 5. That's half my answer, right? This whole thing is a coordinate point in this form, x and y. So x is five, now we have to find y. So to do that, we're gonna take what x is equal to, and we're gonna plug it back into either of these two equations and solve for y. I'm gonna choose the top equation, and I've got four times five plus six y is 32. Plugged f x is five into the equation, now I can solve for y. So that is 20 plus 6y is 32. I can subtract 20 from each side. I get 6y is 12. Divide by 6. And y is 2. And that's the solution. x and y, those are the two points where this system crosses and that is the solution. If you want to check this, you plug 5 and 2 in for x and y into each of these equations and they should be true for each equation. Okay? Um, the next one's looking really similar. Why don't you pause here and try example 2 on your own. All right. Um, so first thing, we're going to make sure our variables are um, in columns here, x's, then y's, then constants, that's right. Now we're going to look for one variable, x or y, doesn't matter, with the same number in front, opposite signs. It's not y, y's got three, negative five. It is x though, four and negative four, same number. They already have opposite signs. So all we have to do is add. Negative four plus four, eliminated. 3y minus 5y is negative 2y. And negative 3 plus 5 is 2. So now I have one equation and one unknown. I divide both sides by negative 2 to get y alone. And y is negative 1. All right, that's half our answer. We need xy, and now we've got... Y is negative one. You don't have to write this. Don't even ask me why I continue to write this XY business. Let's start this again. I'm out of my classroom. I don't know anything. Oh gosh. All right. 
Now we're going to take this y value that we found and plug it back in to either of these two equations and see what x is. I'm going to use the first one. Negative 4x plus 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Multiply first, negative 4x minus 3 is negative 3. I want to get x alone, so I'm going to add 3 to each side. I get negative 4x is 0. Do not despair, because I can continue to divide by negative 4. 0 divided by anything is 0, and that's our answer. When you graph these two lines, they intersect at 0, negative 1. Hooray, we did it. Onward and upward. Ooh, these are my favorite. These are my favorite. So this is going to put together all the things we know about word problems and systems and make it all happen. All you have to do first is write your equations out. Negative 3 times one number. Make one number x. Plus 5 times another number. I'm going to make that other number y. So negative 3 plus x plus 5y is negative 11. That's one equation down. Next equation, 3 times the first number, 3x, plus 7 times the other number, plus 7y, is negative 1. Is always means equals. Is always means equals. Find the numbers. All right, same idea as before. We lined up x's and y's, so everything is in column, one above the other. Now I'm looking for the same variable with the same number in front, opposite signs. I've got y's. 1's 5, 1, 7, that's not it. X is negative 3, positive 3, bingo. We add these together. Negative 3 plus 3, eliminated. 5Y plus 7Y, 12Y. Negative 11 minus 1 is negative 12. We want to get Y alone, so we divide by 12. Y is negative 1. Half our answer. Other half, we're going to take that negative 1y and plug it into the first equation here, or either equation, it doesn't matter. Negative 3x plus 5 times negative 1 is negative 11. So we multiply. Negative 3x minus 5 is negative 11. I want to get x alone, so I'm going to add my 5. Negative 3x is negative 6. When you divide by negative 3 to get x alone, it means x is 2. That's our solution. 2, negative 1. When x is 2, y is negative 1 for both of those numbers. You can plug those into the equations, and you should get the right answers. You can plot those two lines, and they should cross at that point. That is the solution. Um, example 4, do it. Go. All right, uh, the sum of two numbers is negative 10. X plus Y is negative 10. Negative 3 times the first number minus the second number is 2. Find the numbers. Well, we need one equation or two equations with the same variable, with the same number in front, opposite signs, and we've got that in the Y's. Got an imaginary 1y here and a negative 1y in the bottom equation. So that's our, what we need. Now we can add. x minus 3x is minus 2x. y's are canceled. Equals negative 8. I want x alone, so I'm going divide, to divide both sides by negative 2. I get x is 4. Um... Okay, uh, that's, <laughs> woo, got a brain fart there. It's half the answer. I can Now I can take what x is equal to and plug it into either of my first equations. I'm going to use the top one, 4 plus y is negative 10. I subtract 4, and I get y is negative 14. Hooray! So, oh, I forgot. Got to express it like a coordinate point. 
Ta-da! Fantabulous. All right, moving on. Uh, if you cannot tell, this is my favorite way to solve a system. I feel like it's so much easier than substitution. It's really just my favorite. So, yes. All right, um, we've got another system here. First thing we need to look for is make sure the variables are all lined up. Uh-oh, TR, RT, those are not correct. So first thing we need to do is rewrite these. Just gonna leave the top one how it is. 5T plus, or 2T plus 5R is six. Now I'm gonna rearrange the first two terms in the second equation to match what I've got. 9R and 2T is 22. Don't forget, every term carries with it the, the sign in front of it. So this is positive 2T and positive 9R. So let's carry with them the signs with them. All right, now I'm looking for two variables or one variable with the same number in front and opposite signs. R's, we've got a five and a nine that's not the same. T's, we've got two and two. One of those is not positive, not negative. They are the same number with the same sign. So what I'm gonna do now is take this second equation or the first one, but I just take the second one because that's how I roll. I'm gonna change all three signs. So. Top equation is going to stay the same. 2t plus 5r is 6. Bottom equation, every sign is opposite. Negative 2t minus 9r is negative 22. You'll get the same answer no matter which equation you choose to change. Okay? So let's add these together. 2t minus 2t cancels out. 5r minus 9r is negative 4r. 6 minus 22 is negative 16. You can divide both sides by negative 4. We get R is 4. Half the answer, right? We need to go back and plug this in and find out what T is equal to. And choose the first equation. 2T plus 5 times 4 is 6. That's 2t plus 20 is 6. I'm going to subtract 20 from each side to get t alone. 2t is negative 14. And divide both sides by 2 means t is negative 7. Whenever your variables are not x and y, they go in parentheses in, in um, alphabetical order. So r comes before t. So 4, negative 7 is our coordinate point. If you were to plug these into like the Desmos graphing calculator to check your work, make sure you change R into X and T into Y, or it will not understand what you're talking about. Hope that is clear as a bell. Looks like that's the very last one. This section, this is the most difficult thing you're going to have to do is change, rearrange the equation, and um, change the signs. All, otherwise, all you have to do is add. I hope this makes sense. If not, hello, you know where to find me. I miss you. Okay, bye.